Hello, my name's Bob Willis, and welcome to Defect of the Month, uh, brought to you by the NPL Defect Database. Now, preheating in automated soldering processes like wave soldering or selective soldering is quite crucial today, particularly with no clean technology. Now, with no clean fluxes, what we're trying to do is put the minimum amount of flux on the printed circuit board as possible to get good soldering, but also to make sure we get good solder penetration. Now, if we've got the preheat too low, then there's always a possibility that the flux on the top side of the board may remain active after the soldering process and possibly contribute to reliability problems. Now each flux manufacturer provides information and recommended profiles to make sure that you're effectively deactivating the flux if any is remaining on the top side of the board. But if you preheat too much, what you can then create is more solder shorts. And experimentation to get the right preheat settings is very, very important. Using temperature profilers, perhaps thermal imaging cameras, there's a variety of ways that you can do that. But just by, if you have solar shorts on a no clean process, try dropping your preheat temperature, just five degrees, maybe 10 degrees, and see if that eliminates your shorts. That then tells you that what you're doing is overheating the amount of flux you've got present on your printed circuit board, and you're actually exhausting the material so there's nothing to help the drainage as the board exits the solder wave. 